so cute. So glad how guy that was stalking me. So I just finished with my makeup and uh, my hair too. I'm gonna go out and eat. Currently, I'm at the Shitsukai Room. All this Kushikatsu restaurant. Honestly, I'm really kind of losing my voice already. But Osaka is famous for Kushikatsu and I have been eating. So even if my voice is like this, I'm gonna push on and fight them. Mm -hmm. How amazing Osaka is. They're like so cool. Nowhere else you get this. <laughs> ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
the moon, admiring the view, taking in everything. There was this guy that approaches me, he's like a man in his 30s. He was just making small talk. I just gave very short answers and I never really answered. He asked if I was alone and when I'm out on a solo trip, I never ever tell people that I'm alone. It's just a safety thing. I told him that I was with my boyfriend. We had separated for like 10 minutes for him to go do his shopping and I will go do my shopping. And I purposely said boyfriend because isn't that good enough deterrence, right? So after that, I just cut off the conversation and I just went off. After two hours or so, I was walking around the same area. I was walking one whole round just to check out the Totonbury area. I walked past that same spot. When I was walking, this guy runs up to me and he was like, why are you still here? Where's your boyfriend? Um, Do you not have a boyfriend? Are you lying to me? And I was just in shock. I was like, why does it matter? Um, why are you so persistent? Let him say, um, I'm going to meet him now and I'm going to go. I, I just walked away very quickly. But yeah, the entire experience was getting quite uncomfortable for me. I went home earlier because I was feeling quite uncomfortable. That was when something that I didn't think would happen um, happened. What actually happened was that I was going back to my hotel. It was around the Shinsekai area. It was a very popular like touristy area. So I wasn't really afraid and I thought that it was safe. So when I was walking back from the train station, it's about like a 10 minute walk. Slowly I realized that this guy behind me might be following me. But I couldn't really be sure because he could have just been in the same direction going back to his place. So I continued walking and right beside my hotel, there was this convenience store. And I decided to go grab a snack because I wanted to go back to my hotel take a bath and eat so i went into the convenience store which was just right beside my hotel and i went to the drinks out to grab a drink and then i realized that the guy actually came in he was going to the drinks out and okay i made a mental note and i was just like okay on alert when he walked past me i heard a camera sound and i saw a flash and i quickly turned around and i shouted i was like what's going like i was like i was just like shocked and I'm sure he got shocked too because he quickly grabbed the drink and speed walked to the counter. And I was just in shock. I, I didn't know what to do. I, this has never happened to me before. thought that I was safe because all along in Kyoto, I was just going around doing my thing and nobody bothered me. Nobody did anything shady and I just felt super safe and comfortable. And when this happened, I was just totally taken aback. I didn't know what to do and so I just stood there for a while. In shock until when i snapped back i quickly took out my phone and i filmed a video of him because i didn't know what to do i was like you feel me there i feel you back huh? and i was just standing there filming him because i still hadn't really come to my senses and i wanted to walk in front and confront him he had already left i just stood there in silence for a good like five ten minutes not knowing what to do and i went back to my hotel and i actually sat in the bathroom ate my onigiri and played my show Wow, I cried. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not really sure where I'm really going, but it looks really nice. It's like an entire stretch of streets leading up to this temple at the back. This place is so magical. Morning, so today is my last day in Tokyo. I'm going to go to the Art Aquarium Museum. It's this really famous museum with goldfish. So yeah, I'm trying to find my way there. I'm a little lost. Honestly, I've been walking around here for a while. I'm still not feeling very well. My throat is kind of wet. And it's my last day in Japan. Every time I end a trip, I kind of wish I stayed longer. So this is what I got. Decided to get it for my sister because she loves chromey and I thought it looked so cute. This is outside. 
She likes it, it's so cute. Look at this. Kai. <laughs> I bought a photo. This is me with zero wake up. <laughs> And I bought this for about $15 Pretty cute 